Hello everyone, welcome to part two of where I pick up from where I left off in my last video discussing how my wife and I were able to pay off $65,000 in less than 18 months. If you haven't seen my last video, make sure to check that one out. It's got some very useful information and resources that you can go to to help you achieve your financial goals. Today's video will highlight the practical side of paying off debt. That means actual things that you can do and behaviors you can emulate in your own lives to help you stop going further into debt or even help you pay off your debt faster. My wife and I took a relentless approach to paying off our debt, and so some of these things may seem a little bit extreme to you, but I can tell you firsthand that it was worth it. So let's get into the list of things that you can do to pay off debt quicker. Number one, we went without Wi-Fi for the entire time of paying off our debt. It may seem like a small expense, but when you add all of these things together, you will see how much of an impact it has on helping you pay off debt sooner. If you have a hotspot capability on your phone, utilize that if you need internet in your home. We have this capability and it served us well for our needs. Number two, we did not take any vacations during this time. This will significantly help you pay off debt sooner as vacations can get pricey, especially when you factor in food and hotels, which leads us into our next point. Number three, don't eat out. A survey conducted in 2017 suggests that the average cost of eating out is $270 per month. Like Dave Ramsey says, the only time you should be inside of a restaurant is if you're working there. Save yourself some money and shop at stores such as Aldi or a store similar to that. It will save you a lot of money. We ate a lot of inexpensive foods such as rice and chicken. We also ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day for our lunches, which we still continue to do today. Number four, find inexpensive or free activities to do for fun. We would often go on walks or go to local parks as well as state parks, which are free. Number five, I currently still drive the car that I drove in college. It's got over 210,000 miles on it and it's still going strong. It sounds like a tank, but it's still going strong. We went to a dealership to get a second car for my wife to use and right away, the salesman tried to sell us something new. Do not, and I repeat, do not finance a car, pay cash if you can. We did not and still do not use credit cards for reasons mentioned in my previous video. We ended up taking the most inexpensive car on the lot, which was around $3,500, and it lasted us the duration of our time paying off our debt. Number six, find other ways to bring in income. My wife and I delivered food for DoorDash, which helped us put more money towards paying off our debt. Get creative, and I'll admit that driving for DoorDash was actually a lot of fun. Number seven, we did not have any streaming subscriptions, and I know how much you may feel like you need Hulu or Netflix, but go without it for a while and that will help you pay off your debt even quicker. Number eight, keep spending during birthdays and holidays to a minimum. Remember, it's the thought that counts. Be creative. And here are my final thoughts on this whole thing. Make a budget. See where your money is going. Control your money and don't let your money control you. Get an idea of when you will have your debt paid off and make it a goal to try and pay it off even sooner. Keep track of how much debt you have paid off. It serves as a motivator. Once you get going, keep the momentum moving forward. And also, if you're a Christian, do not neglect to give your offering or tithe to your local church. We were faithful in our giving and still are today. And I believe God has blessed us in ways that are known to us as well as unknown. For us, we were very fortunate to be able to pay our bills with my income alone. So once my wife's income income came in, we didn't let it sit in our bank account. We just put it straight towards the debt. And this will help with any temptation for you to use that money for any other things that you'd like to spend that money on. Also, I'd like to point out that these things are only temporary. So uh, once you pay off your debt or try some of these things, you don't have to try all of them, but I would suggest you trying all of them because the more of these types of things that you implement in your uh, time paying off your debt, the quicker and sooner your debt will be paid off. Um, but once you pay off this debt, you can start enjoying, you know, going out on vacations and eating out occasionally. But also keep in mind that once you put these things into practice, you probably won't want to go back uh, to doing those same types of spending that you had done prior to paying off your debt. That is going to conclude this video for today. I hope you gained a lot of uh, wisdom and things that will benefit you going forward. Um, I wish you the best in your journey of paying off debts. I hope to see you guys in the next video.